Hey guys, did you want to back up your phone with something other than iTunes or iCloud? Well, keep watching. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about Acronis True Image Software. In the package center of our Synology, if we scroll down, we can see Acronis True Image. This is a piece of software that helps you back up your iOS, Android, uh, any of your smartphones or tablets to your NAS. This will help back up all your contents, videos, photos, contacts from anything or any sort of corruption. You can browse to that data as well from your phone, back it up. You can do it manually, you can do it automatically, you can pull any data off of it that you need. It is an amazing piece of software and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, you click install. There we go, only took about 20 seconds or so. Let's close out of the package center and let's open up Acronis True Image. From here, it wants you to back a mobile device to your NAS, gives you a QR code, shows you how to download the device on your mobile app. So if you click that download button, it's gonna bring you to the page here, kind of showing you your region and so on, and then bringing you to the proper site. But all we need to do is go to our iPhone and go to the App Store. If you have a, uh, an Android phone, of course, go to the Google Play. So now we're gonna switch over to the iPhone. So on the iPhone, open up your App Store, click on search, and type in Acronis. Should be the first one that comes up. Acronis True Image, hit the download on that. Let's give us a few seconds to download. And we'll click open. So, welcome to Acronis. It's gonna tell you exactly what it does and how it works. We will click continue. And now wants us to set up our first backup. But first, let me go ahead and show you. I do have a couple of photos on here. We have approximately three photos right there that we can choose from. So what I'm gonna do is head over to our Acronis now. And let's get the setup. Click the setup button. It's asking for Acronis Cloud, Computer, or NAS. We'll select the NAS option. Ensure we're on Wi-Fi. Install the uh, TrueNAS image for the NAS. Let's go ahead and click on Scan QR Code. Give access to the camera. And now we will scroll up. It's gonna grab that image. And it's gonna prompt you for photos, videos, and so on. For this demonstration, we're going to select photos only. If you want, you have the option to encrypt your backup. I'm not gonna do that for this. We'll click backup now. And do we want notifications? We click allow. And of course we have to give it access in order for it to see our photos. And this should only take a few seconds. As you can see, preparing data, backing up. Looks like it's finished. So photos is now backed up. We can now hit the browse button on the bottom of the page, click iPhone. We can see our NAS, the name of it, and our photos. If we click in here, we can see all the photos that we have and we can recover any one of these. So as a demonstration, we'll go over to our photos. Let's delete this one here, delete immediately. So now we have only two photos. Let's go back to our Acronis app, click on the one we deleted, and hit recover. And now it says data recovered successfully. We can head back to our photos and there it is. It's a very neat piece of software. If we go back to the computer, you can see that our iPhone last backed up, give us the uh, complete date here with the time. So one thing I did notice, it does not live in the file station directory. You cannot browse to it easily. So if I were to close this, there is a form I did find that essentially navigates you to the right location, which is under user local Cronus. And the only way you would get to this is with win SCP. So I didn't feel as though this was necessary for us, for me to show you how to get to this win SCP, but hopefully in the future, I know this was back in 2017, uh, they will implement something where we can at least view or access some of the data where we can back it up a little bit easier. But uh, at the moment, this is a great piece of software, a great alternative to 
backing up your phone with iCloud or with um, iTunes manually. This can do it automatically, and it is a great piece of software that I would strongly recommend for anybody to use. Let me know how this compares to iCloud or so on. Of course, it may not be iCloud since that is proprietary, but it's a great alternative. It's very fast, and I enjoy using it. I'd like to thank you for watching.